Enjoy your life right now, not later, right now. I'm Dietless Living. I recently did a poll about what people think is work-life balance. And these are some of the answers that I got. Spending time with friends and having coffee, spending more time with their pets, being out in nature, living a life of contribution, being more creative, helping with the environment, traveling and seeing the places that they want to see, having more hugs in their day, having time to prepare meals and food that they enjoy, time at home, listening to music, spending time with the grandkids, reaching their goals, freedom to do whatever they want to do, being able to plan their day, having time with their children, with their spouse, like more date nights, doing what they love, free time to create and influence and overcoming fears. <sighs> and then I asked, What's stopping you from achieving the work-life balance that you'd like? And everybody said very much the same thing. Too much to do, it's not the right time, too many family commitments, work's too busy right at the moment, I'm really stressed, I'm paying off the house, I need to get out of debt, my health's not good, I'm working for others, I'm working for myself, I'm disorganised and I don't know how. Everybody thinks that work-life balance is somewhere off in the future because they think that to achieve a work-life balance is that they need to make massive big changes in their life. And why is that? Because marketing fills our head with things that we need to have to have this beautiful work-life balance experience. We're meant to be achieving this magic balance, but what it really boils down to is when you feel that you have choices, freedom and control over your own life. When you have that feeling, then you know that you have a work-life balance that works for you. So where do you start? Enjoy life right now. Not later, not in the future, not next week, not next month, not next year, but right here, right now. This is the only moment that you have and this is the moment to enjoy life. There is a constant conversation going on inside your head that kind of casts a spell over you. It's called the trance of disempowerment. The trance of disempowerment is just that constant commentary that's going on in your mind as you move through your day. The people that you interact with and the places that you have to go. That constant commentary is one-sided. It embellishes the facts and it leaves you feeling and thinking that you don't have any choices freedom or control of your own life. So what do you do about the constant commentary that's in your head? Pay attention to the thoughts you have when you wake up, the thoughts you have as you move through your day, the conversations that you have with yourself and with the people that you interact with, your language and choice of words. You might not be able to change what's happening, but you can change what you're feeling. I'm sure that's not the first time you've ever heard it, and it is actually a bit of a ooh, sticky point because you go, I can't change the way I'm feeling. But you can, we can, we all can, we have the capacity. It's just a skill that we need to build to be able to do it. Life is everything about building skills and ability and knowledge. Once you have the knowledge, the skills and ability, you can do anything. Anyone can learn anything. And the easiest way is to find a way to say it how you want it, not how you don't want it. Every word you say paints a picture in your mind. So be careful of the words that you're using because you want to paint a picture that leaves you feeling powerful and in control. It's all the same thing. We always say, this is a nightmare. I'm so stressed. This stuff is killing me. I don't know what to do about my kids. I don't know what to do about my partner. I'm lonely, la 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 la. We say the same stuff, but isn't it nicer? Don't you feel better when you can say, it's all right, I'm in control of my life. I have choices, freedom and control over how I feel. And I'm choosing to feel in control. I'm choosing to feel that I have choices and I'm choosing to feel that I am a resourceful person and I'm choosing to feel 
that life is always going to be like this. It's up, it's down, it's left, it's right, it's, you know, sideways, it's upsy-daisy, topsy-wavy. That's not really a word. So tell me in the comments below what you can do this week to improve your work-life balance and how you're going to take charge of the words that you say to yourself. I'm Katie Gordon, I'm Dietless Living. Please click on this little red subscribe button and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.